All right, it's time for the Legal Minute now with Paul Harding from Martin Harding and Mazzotti at 1-800-LAW-1010. Good morning, Paul. Hey, good morning, guys. Hey, so Mary uh, jumped on this story here about Justin Bieber, people getting kind of ripped off with money they spent on his tickets. What's going on, Mary, now? Yeah, they spent money for a meet and greet, some up to $2,000. He canceled the meet and greet, and people want their money back but still want to go to the concert, like willing to pay the concert price. So if they get their money back, they lose everything. Is there anything they can do? They can't go to the show if they get their money back. Yeah. Just what Justin Bieber needed more bad, more bad publicity. Right. I so know. you know, I, I guess you know he just doesn't. He said he loses all his energy with these meet and greets. Now, he's got a hundred shows, meeting tons of people. He doesn't want to do it. But the truth is, it's in his contract to do it. They sold the tickets. So here's the deal. You're right. They're saying, well, it's okay. You, we'll give you your two thousand dollars back, but then you're not going to show. No, we want to go to the show. And and so what portion of that two thousand dollars was this amazing ticket versus? the meet and greet. Right. So they're in a real difficult legal position. What's going to happen is they're, it looks like they're going to stand, which I think is a mistake, but they're going to stand behind their early uh, report here, which is going to be turn the tickets in or spend a 2000 and forego uh, the uh, meet and greet and we're huh. not giving any refunds. The, the truth is there was a bargain for exchange. It was a contract. People paid an exorbitant amount of money. And what proportion should they get back as a result of the meet and greet? That will be decided by the courts. When you when you buy this, is it sort of a contract that you're mm-hmm. signing as well? Like, did you sign yeah. two thousand dollars, whether or not there's a meet and greet, for example? Yeah, this is where the attorney generals get involved. You know, because oh, yeah. you know an individual can't sue Justin Bieber. It's just you know, it's <laughs> cost cost prohibitive, right? Yeah. So, yeah. But this is where you know these groups get together. The government's going to take a look at this and say just is wrong. Now. You know what? And of course, people would say, "Oh no!" You know, it was nineteen hundred for the meet and greet. The hundred dollar ticket was all. So it's difficult to to delineate between what that was. Uh, but at some point, if they don't do something to satisfy the fans, uh, the court is going to decide, and the court's not going to decide. In, in their favor. I would say the concert ticket was probably worth about 1900 and the meet and greet's worth 100 <laughs> <laughs> Well, Please. it depends which side of the aisle you're on. Right? So it's yeah. kind of a chance you take when you buy into these meet and greets, I guess. Mm. I've done it once, you know. We did a meet and greet with my daughter's uh, Ariana Grande, yeah. and it, it, it really was kind of, I mean, it was exciting to get up there, but I just looked at her, and she was so exhausted. It, was, it really was one of those things. It just took the life out of her. Yeah. Then she had a show afterwards, uh, and at the end of the day, um, probably we wouldn't do that again. But I, I think that the concert promoters here and are, are going to just catch bad media yep. and also going to have a bad decision by a court or, or some agency someday. Against them, yeah. yeah. All right. Hey, Paul, man, thanks for hanging out with us again this week. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> and we'll check to you next week. Sounds great. Thanks, guys.